you're trying to grow on Instagram, but instead it looks like every day you're losing followers. I know it can be very frustrating, but I'm here to tell you exactly why this may be happening and how you can fix it. Ready? Let's do this. Hi my lovely people, it's Natalia and welcome back to my channel where I share super action ideas on content creation for entrepreneurs and creatives. And today I have a topic for you that seems to worry people who are trying to grow on Instagram. Why do I keep losing followers? I got quite a few messages about it and there's always some tension related to the subject, so I'm here to relieve any worries. I'm going to share some of the biggest reasons why you may be losing followers and if it's inside of your control, how to stop it from happening. It may seem daunting to lose followers on a daily, especially if you didn't have many to begin with. So without further ado, here are the reasons why it may be happening and what to do to fix it. Reason number one, Instagram removing accounts. The first and probably one of the biggest reasons you may be losing followers is because of Instagram itself. They are very transparent about the fact that they regularly remove spam accounts, fake accounts, and other profiles that don't follow Instagram community guidelines. Besides, any follower that you block, if you find them spammy or offensive in any way, is counted as an unfollow as well. Think about those annoying bot accounts promoting some shady brands in your DMs that ask you to be become an ambassador. Some of them may follow you from time to time, be it as some sort of an automated action or manually hitting follow to make you feel like it's more real and not an attempt to scam you. These accounts, if reported enough by various users, would potentially be removed by Instagram. Now, think about how many fake accounts out there are less obvious and as a result, you may miss that they follow you. Any bots that leave spammy comments can easily get removed by Instagram as well. And you may not even realize how many of those fake or spam accounts follow you. You really don't have to have bot followers to have these fakes pop up on your profile as well. The point is your numbers may be going down by a few per day or in tens or in hundreds for this exact reason. There is nothing you can do about it and if you really think about it, it's actually very good for you. Since Instagram is showing your new post to a small pool of people who follow you, if you have some fake accounts in there that will not engage with your content, it's going to lower the chances of this post's success. In the long run, having too many inactive or fake accounts following you can contribute to a lower engagement rate and less reach, so don't worry about losing them. Let's move on to another reason why you may be losing followers, reason number two, the consequences of giveaways. When you organize a contest or a giveaway, inevitably you'll get followed by people who are not your ideal audience. Giveaways or contests always attract some pro price hunters, as I like to call them, or people who may not be interested in your content at all and are only there to grab the reward. Even if a certain number of people stays with you after a contest like that, there's a high chance that in a few weeks or months, they're going to bolt and that should be absolutely fine with you as well. By the way, that among a few other things is precisely the reason why I'm not a fan of giveaways and I don't think they're a good way to attract new followers. Your perfect audience is going to follow you not because of a prize you're offering, but because of the great value you provide for them. And just as with those spam accounts that don't engage with your content, any real accounts that followed you for all the wrong reasons will not engage with you either. And you already know what that leads to, so again, don't sweat it if you lose some followers after a contest. Reason number three, people moving on. Have you ever followed a creator closely and then after a time you just didn't enjoy their content as much? Well, that's the nature of any interest. Sometimes it can simply go away and that's exactly why some people may be unfollowing you. Whether it's because they're no longer interested in the subjects you talk about, whether they're at a different stage in their life, whether they're no longer entertained or inspired by the type of content you produce, all that matters is that you have no way of controlling it and it's completely normal that this happens. One more example of a moving on I want to give here is the famous follow unfollow game which I personally absolutely hate and was never on board to use this type of a shady tactic to grow followers. Nevertheless, it is something that people do to this day and it may be one of the reasons why you're losing followers from time to time. To those of you who don't know what follow unfollow is, it's basically when someone goes to different accounts, follows them, even engages with a post or two, in the hopes that they return the favor and follow them back. After some time, they will inevitably hit unfollow to keep their following count number down and move on to some new people. Honestly, I think it's very shady and I could probably make a whole video about these kinds of tactics, the bot accounts included, but that's neither here nor there. The point is that there will always be people who will move on, shift their interests or just grow tired and that's absolutely okay. 
Now, I've talked about three reasons why you may lose followers that are pretty much outside of your control. Now, let's talk about those instances that should make you think and adjust your strategy to stop losing people. Reason number four, the wrong audience. Having a good strategy is something I reiterate all the time because it's an absolutely crucial part of a successful online presence. And here's one of the reasons why. If you end up targeting the wrong audience, posting content that is not in line with what they expect, content that doesn't provide clear value to them on a regular basis, and content around subjects that are not really that interesting to them, you're inevitably going to keep losing followers. How that process is different from the previous three is that it may be happening on a larger scale, meaning you get tons and tons of unfollows when compared to actual new follows. And besides, you may also hear some feedback from people sometimes about the content not being as nice, but what's more likely to happen is that they will just go and not tell you about it. And if you know that your engagement rate is very low or people don't respond well to your calls to action or don't perform actions that you want them to take, then this may be a good indicator that something is not right. And in this case, what you want to do is to get back to the drawing board and really analyze your strategy. Think about who you can best serve, whether you're a business or a creator, and what these people may expect from you. I have a whole video about creating a strong content marketing strategy and I highly recommend you watch it after this video if that's something you may not have clearly defined. For now, stay here and see what the last reason for losing followers may be, but then go ahead and check the other one. I talk a lot about there about how to identify the right audience. I'm sure you'll find it helpful. And apart from that, I've actually shared a post on Instagram about how you can learn more about your audience and I'll link it down below. Reason number five, not enough quality content. This one may be a tough pill to swallow, but I feel it needs to be said here. Just as people tend to blame the Instagram algorithm for their low engagement, not getting enough reach or growing way too slow, same goes for getting unfollows. The truth is, in most cases, the content itself is to blame. If your followers are not getting value from your content consistently, and that's very important here, they're very likely to unfollow you. And the worst part is that once these people are gone, it's very unlikely that you'll win them back. That's why I always say it's much more important to produce quality content than to actually post every single day to grow. Even one well-executed post per week that speaks to your audience the right way is going to be better for your success on Instagram than seven consecutive ones posted Monday through to Sunday, but not being thought out enough and not serving your audience properly. I'm actually releasing a mini course very soon that's going to teach you how to produce quality content efficiently. So if you'd like to step up your Instagram game in 2022, sign up on the wait list now. What I really want to emphasize here is that there's no quality content without really understanding the audience because at the end of the day, they're the consumers of that content and they're the decision makers on whether or not you're worthy of them following you. That's why your content should always have your ideal audience at heart and improving this will lead to fewer unfollows over time and more importantly, a more engaged community and that's what we should all aim for. Tell me, does losing followers make you feel a little bit anxious or upset? You can tell me in the comments below if you've ever experienced it. I know it may be quite daunting to lose followers on a daily, especially if you don't have many of them to begin with, but if you've listened carefully, you'll probably come to the same conclusion. It is completely normal to lose followers every single day, both for small and big accounts, and it usually has nothing to do with what you're doing specifically. So don't sweat it and focus on improving your content quality over time. And if you're getting many more unfollowed then follows, make sure you take your time to really rethink your strategy. And that's why I recommend you check out this video here. Otherwise you can focus on growing your Instagram further. And that's exactly what this video here is going to help you achieve. I want to wish you all the best for 2022. Have a wonderful holiday. And I promise to be back in the new year with even more quality content marketing videos so you can learn and thrive. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you next time.